We are at a COE campground for the first time ever. 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 We are at Gunner Hill, just outside of Montgomery, Alabama, and well, this might be our new favorite place. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Let's go check you out. Gunner Hill Campground at the Alabama River Lakes. You just said check you out. Let's go check out the Gunner Hill Campground at Alabama River Lakes. <laughs> So coming in off Old Selma Road, you're going to turn right or left, depending on which way you're coming from, at the Dollar General, which is a little ways back on this road. Then you're going to come on down here. Now, quick note, the road we were just on, speed limit is 20 miles an hour. We did see a cop pull somebody over, probably for speeding, we don't know, um, on the day we arrived. So... They do take reservations here, obviously, because this is a Corps of Engineers park. And contrary to popular belief, yes, this is an Army Corps of Engineers park. It is not a military campground. Army Corps of Engineers has nothing to do with the military. It's just something to keep in mind. Um, when you do come in, you'll stop here to check in. There's life vests available on the right for stealing or whatever, I guess. And you do actually check in there. You do yeah. want to make sure you stop and get your assignments and everything. Get your passes. Yeah, we didn't do that. The camp post is on the left, as you can see. <laughs> it's an empty spot. They're off duty. They're gone. But this one's on duty. You said duty. I said duty. <laughs> so we're going back to the um, older section, I guess you could say, right now. And um, I haven't been back here. Shelly has. So. I have nude. ridden my bike back here, and I'm. It's a little challenging even on bikes, so. Heads up. But according to the website, this is a year round campground offering 142 sites with electric and water hookups. Sites 1 through 75 are newly renovated sites and have concrete pads and sewers. We're going to see those next after this. So these are not the sewer sites. Amenities include flush toilets. Hey, that's always nice, right? Uh, showers, drinking water. Hey, drinking water, that's another nice thing to have. Um, boat ramp, which we're just driving by here. Uh, dump station, laundry facilities. A picnic shelter is provided for parties and family functions. And there's a dump station here on the left. We'll drive through that and check it out in a second. This campground is situated on the Katoma Creek in a forest of hickory and pine. The region offers a mild climate for year-round camping. <laughs> the area's waterways offer excellent fishing for crappie, bass, and catfish. A boat ramp is provided for easy river access. The Lowden's Wildlife Management Area, located nearby, covers 12,500 acres and offers prime hunting for small white-tailed deer, wild turkeys and hogs, and a variety of small game and waterfowl. The campground provides basketball court, playground, and offering additional recreation opportunities for visitors young and old alike. So they have crappy fishing. They have crappy fishing. So, the roads are a little rough here. Yeah. Here in the uh, old section, it is a little rough. The road is concrete-ish, asphalt-ish rather, excuse me. And I say ish because it looks like a mixture of asphalt and just dirt road in places. Lots of shade here. Lots of shade. Which is nice because it's like a bazillion degrees here um, at the end of June of 2022 as we film this. Off in the distance to the right you cannot see is the river. And surprisingly, this is empty. Now, over on the other side, it's full. But it's full hookups over there. Yeah, we'll get a good shot at the river here in just a second. So we've been here for a better part of a week. Um, we were here for the um, dedication of the monument for the Cobar Towers uh, bombing survivors, which I'm one of. 
thankfully. Um, we're going to turn into one of these spots up here so we can show you the river. Um, so if you're if you have access to military installations, then you can go over to the Gunter Annex of Maxwell Air Force Base and you can um, visit the Enlisted Heritage Hall there, which is the only facility dedicated to um, the history of the Air Force enlisted person exclusively. It's free. And if you don't, you can get a pass at the Visitor Center and go check it out anyway. So, oh, here's a good spot. We, this is a back end spot, 102. This is a level looking spot. We're gonna pull in here as best we can. So if you stayed here in spot 102, this would be your view. I would have to say, yeah. This is the, my favorite one. This will work, this would work. Bike. This would definitely work. Yeah. yeah, so I'd say this view here works. 100%. Yeah, beautiful. I'm sure it's great when the sun is setting or the sun is rising. Sun's always setting or rising. I know, but I don't know which way it is when you're... And also a river runs through it. Oh, clever. Yes. All right. On with the tour. Pretty spacious um, site here, obviously, as we are able to do a multi-point um, turn here. Our... Chevy Equinox has a turn radius of a of a battleship, so this site right next to it actually has steps down to the water. Ooh, now there you go. Now that's that'll work. Yep. And if you don't stay on this side, but you have a bike or whatever, and you ride through here, um, just do what I did and just stop and take your pictures and enjoy the scenery. Mm. So I want to know if you've stayed here at Gunter Hill. Let us hear your stories, good, bad, or indifferent, of what you thought of this place. Oh. Or if you have any other recommendations for the um, Montgomery, Alabama area. Now we've stayed in the area before. We have stayed on Maxwell Air Force Base at the military family campground there. We do have a uh, can't get a review of that, and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff to do in the Montgomery area. Um, Hank Williams Sr. is from here. You can go visit his grave. Um, now, I just need to point out real quick, as we come around here and come up this hill, your exit is to the left here, and it's very easy to miss this little sign, as I did on the bike. I just zoomed right on by it, and it just goes up, and it is a turnaround, but um, it's just easier to make your left and head on out. And they are, they are camping. They got tents and sheds and everything else going on there. Uh, let's see, there's also the Hank Williams um, Museum here. Um, you can see the car that Hank Williams died in. You can go to his grave. You can go, I already said oh, that. Sorry. You can see the clothes he was wearing when he died. Um, you can go to the safari. <laughs> you can go to the safari. I have a link to that video in the description below too. You, um, here's one of the bath facilities. Here, we're not gonna stop at this one, but we will stop at one shortly for your um, pleasure. So hang on for that one. I have read that it's only like a dollar fifty for a load of laundry and a dollar to dry. So you'll have to check that out and see yeah. if that's accurate. So they say. So they say. Which but, is actually pretty good pricing for some of the campgrounds we've been. Yeah, if it's true, if it holds right. true. The military campgrounds are those prices, so we'll see. Yeah. There's also walking trail along to your right there, and it takes you to the boat ramp area. Okay, we're gonna pull through the dump station here. You know, this is nice. They actually have a, a water hose here instead of just the, the water. I, I, I appreciate that. So, for all your dumping needs. And we're gonna hang a right here just to show you the boat ramp. So if you do come here with a boat, 
there is a ramp available for your um, boat ramping needs. And it looks like a bathhouse there to potty if you need to potty while you're setting up your boat or taking your boat out. It's always a good thing. Tell me, what do you think? Talon just thinks it's hot. Lots and it of is. Uh, there's nature trails, there's paths and stuff you can walk through. There's a white car that's following us around. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but they're following us around. They're not very subtle at it. They're not very good at it. <laughs> I'm just not sure they know where they're going. Maybe they thought we did. <laughs> so a quick note on internet. Up and all the way up until you get through the entrance here, you have very good 5G Verizon. Once you actually come into the campground, you have very poor 4G Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> like one bar. Um, same goes for AT&T. Uh, T-Mobile, I've been able, with with the WeBoost, I've been able to get 5G T-Mobile um, to go about 20 to 30 megabytes download. I Starlink, about the same. Of course, Starlink isn't using the WeBoost. But... Because of all the trees here, there are some obstructions. We'll talk about that in a minute. When I show you our wonderful campsite. Alright, now we're coming into the newer section. Dump station and trash to the left. Our campsite is actually straight ahead, but we're going to go ahead and turn to the right here to show you the campsites here and straight ahead you can maybe see through the trees there is a pavilion and we have some rattling in the car sorry about that i'm like what is that uh, these sites we have some back ends on the left and some pull arounds like i like to call them on the right along with some back ends on the right now all these over here on this side are full hookups. And cement. And yes. And as you can see, they're pretty long and there are some bumps in the road here. Well, on this particular one, if you come in and make that right and make a second right, you be real careful because your whole rig will rock. If we yep. just ask us how we know yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And the boat ramps through the trees there. Mm -hmm. Really good water pressure here. Um, and you see there's a few uh, dish tailgaters out. So you can, depending on your site, if you're using a dish tailgater, get a satellite signal. But if it's mounted on your roof, odds are it's not gonna work. Just cause of the, the, the tree coverage. Same goes with Starlink. To the right is a very small little camper. Nice looking little rig. Vintage. Yeah, vintage. Vintage. Uh, vintage. Va vintage. This is what they call a bridge. It takes you over water. Doesn't seem to be any trouble down there though. I know. Trouble's up around the corner. <laughs> Bicycles for sale back there. Choir within. There's a rig for sale in here too. Yeah, there's a rig for sale. Up here, straight ahead, you can see, yes, that is the world famous RV Underway. Ricky and Barbara. Yes. And they are sitting outside. The water here, surprisingly, 
very good from a um, hardness standpoint. Didn't really need the on-to-go water softener, but as always, using it anyway, just just to make the water as you know good as good tasting as possible. And for those of you new to camping, one thing that you definitely need to also have is probably the most important thing to have is a good quality electrical management system or EMS, um, not just a surge protector. And we highly recommend the Hughes Power Watchdog line. There's links to that's all the different kinds in the description below. This campground's about 15 minutes from Montgomery, give or take, so it's not too far away and but it's far enough away to kind of be nice and secluded and so what highly recommend if you have um one of the many different passes available like the handicap pass this is very inexpensive um like 15 bucks a night so for full hookups that's really good but we're definitely grateful that we have our Starlink here because cellular options just aren't working here. And of course, they, there is no campground Wi-Fi here. Each site does have a fire ring and a grill and a picnic table. So now it's the bonus potty. So we're gonna drive into here and we're gonna do a bonus potty. And I believe here is also um the showers so laundry gonna, room laundry room mm -hmm. yeah so we're going to check that out and well let's go check it out here is the laundry room got some drainage going on it's a dollar to dry a dollar fifty to wash here not too bad got a nice little sink over there rack to hang stuff on got a book Little library thing going on here all right let's go potty all right what is up guys we are in some air conditioning this thing is working great this is the men's room obviously we got sinks these aren't really mirrors they're metal so whatever you got Accessible showers, you got one, two, three, four, five. Got a little bench here and all these. Not terrible. And we'll walk around to the other side. We'll see we got some urinals. and other things. So that's it for the bathroom facility. Now we're gonna roll over to our campground and while we're heading there, I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for watching. And if you'd like to help us help Christian-based veterans charities, um, take a look at the links in the description below for the many different ways you can help us help out these Christian-based veterans charities. We don't keep a dime of the money that we make off of all of our social media platforms. It all 100% goes to a Christian-based veterans charity. So we're gonna pull up here to our site. And so here we are at the site. Like I said, this thing's huge. Got some tree obstructions here. And that's why I put our Starlink antenna here. Normally, it would be mounted here on the ladder. But trees are in the way. Plenty of room to park on this side or the other side. We've got Nice picnic table, gravel patio area. We cooked chicken on this grill the other day. Yummy. Tons of room. What's not to love? So thanks so much for watching. And make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya.
Bye.